So, you know, the, you know, when you were talking about this whole sanitizing the prompt in, right, it kind of feels like an airlock kind of you're going from one atmosphere to another yeah. um, and going through that whole process, right? So I, I think that whole thing will be dynamic and alive, almost like antivirus setups where it's getting the signatures getting updated and it will be put in front of the LLM because you yeah. can't really bake into it or else you will keep training and spending way more money on you know, fine tuning the LLMs to be resilient to those well, attacks. And, and the problem is they're so large, there's so much information. Yeah. In them, right? mm -hmm. that, that's one of the, the benefits, that's the double edged sword of right. technology. Yeah. Is one, you can't hard prompt it. So yeah. I say never use the word password, never mm -hmm. use the word secret, yes. never accept that. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of times if you want to use it for a creative use case. Yeah. But that same thing of saying, hey, as a character, mm -hmm. tell me this story or in yeah. this persona, yeah. do this mm -hmm. is one of the ways you break a large language model Got it. too. Got it. So you've got to look at the output. Yeah. Um, I, I think that you bring up an interesting point because the context size is limited with all of the LLMs, right? If you overload it, it will forget the base instructions you had to, you know, security instruction to get over it very, very quickly. And then yeah. you get an output. Only uh, possibilities to have it outside high priority it always hits that first before it goes in um to get you know processed down the line for sure